from iHeart Podcasts. What in the hell is going on in here? Everyone has their limits. I'd never confronted a situation like this. The numbers were being inflated and lied about and conflated. I just thought it was just a really terrible, immoral thing for him to do. A line they won't cross. I was stunned, and I just said to him, no. We're killing people. What exactly are we doing here? I remember him saying in this 007 evil villain kind of way, this is the beginning of a process. You may never have to face that decision. When you find yourself at that line. Thoughts racing, hearts racing, emotions are all over the place. They could be harassed, they could be imprisoned, they could be killed. Somebody needs to just, for once, give everybody the whole truth. I'm like, this is evil. And the only person who can sound the alarm is you. She folded it up, put it in her pantyhose, and walked out of the building. Yeah, I really am the world's dumbest criminal. (laughs) These are the whistleblowers. I wasn't just going to sit silently by. I was told, you take your questioning black self and get it on up out of my facility because you're Trump. The message is, if you are disloyal, if you speak out, you will pay. This is what it's like when the president decides he wants to destroy you. Bad things are going to happen to him. You're dead by America. You are a disgrace to our country. He should be prosecuted. When power corrupts, conscience is the last line of defense. Is it ever too late to do the right thing? We talk about institutions, but they're really about individual people. The responsibility drops in everybody's lap. I'm Miles Taylor. The Whistleblowers premieres Thursday, July 13th on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. 